Hey everybody, it's Jack Cantus here, again with another crockpot guide for desserts in the category in my opinion today. And here's my assistant chef Winona as always. And again guys, don't worry about any of the ingredients that you guys find on this video. I'll show ahead and show you how to do it in another video. Don't worry where to find all these confusing ingredients, I'll help you guys out. Our first recipe for dessert is taffy, a quick little pick-me-up for sanity if you guys can't find any green caps in your world. Negative 3 health. 25 hunger, 15 sanity, 40 seconds in the crock pot, 15 days to rot. This one's pretty easy, guys. All you need is three honey and a filler in a crock pot, and you can probably get it. Quick little sanity boost if you guys are lacking any sanity boosting items in your world. Speaking of sanity, Melonsicle. This one's a good one in summer. It's three health, 12.5 hunger, 20 sanity, 10 seconds in a crock pot, three days to rot, and it cools you down. It's really handy in the summer. You guys are lucky enough to snag a melon, a watermelon in your um, farm, so you can go ahead and you know give it to a bird and give it some seeds. All you need is watermelon, ice, a twig, and a filler. It's really easy to make, guys, and really useful during summer. Here's an interesting one: jelly beans. Only in don't starve together, by the way. It heals you for 122 health over two minutes, so it's a hot, a heal over time. Gives you zero hunger and five sanity, 50 seconds in a crock pot, and does not spoil. Interesting fact there, guys. For all you guys who like to boss hunt, how you get the royal jelly is that you need to kill the bee queen and she'll drop some royal jelly. It's really good when you guys uh, fight bosses. It's a nice heal over time that you guys are constantly, you know, benefiting from when you guys are fighting bosses. Really late game stuff. Awesome stuff to have if you guys are boss rushing. And the man, the myth, the legend, the king of all sanity foods, ice cream. This one's a real pain, guys. It is zero health, 25 hunger, 50 sanity, mega sanity right there. Mmm. 10 seconds in a crock pot, 3 days to rot. This one's a little bit more complicated, guys. You guys need ice, some kind of dairy product, so you need electric milk or butter, uh, and a sweetener. I usually throw fill in there as a berry as well, but ice cream is really good for sanity, and it cools you down as well, slightly. But it's really good in high sanity losing situations, such as fighting deer clops and other bosses and stuff like that. I would use it sparingly if you guys have those late game ingredients lying around. It does rot fairly quickly. And from the good, we go to the weird powder cakes. Now, this is another place sick twisted jokes on us. Powder cakes. Negative three health, zero sanity, zero hunger, ten seconds in a crock pot. Takes an extraordinary long time to rot. I think this is a kick to like, you know, kind of a nod to a Twinkie, you know, it's never rotting in the apocalypse or something like that. And my primary use for it is usually if you're doing a pig farm, you put it in the middle and it doesn't rot, but you can achieve that with a pigskin. It's kind of a useless item. It's really funny if you think about it because it never rots, but it it's, it's just a joke, guys. It's a really useless item. Now from the useless to the very useful, we have Dragon Pie. Probably the best late game farm item you can possibly fathom. 40 health, 75 hunger, 5 sanity, 40 seconds in a crock pot, 15 days to rot. Now this is amazing. All you need is a dragon fruit and 3 filler and you will get dragon pie. Probably the easiest high health food to maintain once you have the means to produce a farm. So what you need is a lot of farms, a lot of dragon fruit, and a lot of birds to reproduce this recipe. And you guys will have infinite health when you guys fight your bosses by just using berries and twigs. On to the shipwreck side of weird foods, we have the banana pop. Awesome little pick-me-up if you guys are having trouble in the dry season. It is 20 health, 12.5 hunger, 33 sanity, an awkward number. 10 seconds in the crock pot, 3 days to rot, and it's perk that it lowers your temperature by 20 degrees for 10 seconds, so it helps in the dry season. Really easy to find, guys. You can find bananas everywhere, and ice is laughable to find in shipwreck, and twigs are everywhere. Super nice little sanity food if you guys are trouble having trouble with sanity in shipwreck. On the flip side of frozen treats on a stick, the jelly o pop. This one's pretty interesting. You know, 20 health, 12.5 hunger, 0 sanity. 10 seconds in a crock pot, 3 days to rot, and it also lowers your temperature by 40 degrees for 10 seconds, just like the banana one. But on the flip side, it helps you get rid of, you know, random jellyfish that you have lying around. If you guys happen to be killing a lot of jellyfish in shipwreck, you don't know what to do with them and you want a little health gain, you can get a little extra oomph for your jellyfish by, you know, some ice and filler and some toys. You'll get something nice out of it. Now the last culinary masterpiece for Rarely. We have sweet potato souffle. Now this one's super easy, it only needs two eggs and two sweet potatoes. 
This one's 20 health, 37.5 hunger, 15 sanity, 20 seconds in a crock pot, 10 days to rot. This is super easy, and of course it has to be made in his unique crock pot that he carries around with him. Uh, super easy pick me up. Sweet potatoes are relatively easy to find in shipwreck. You can find them everywhere, or you can farm them, and eggs drop from the trees that you chop down in the jungle. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching the last crock pot guide video, unless there's new recipes released. For Don't Starve later on, I'll go ahead and revise these episodes and then add a couple new recipes, probably for Hamlet, so keep an eye out for those. And thank you guys, if you guys haven't subscribed, think about subscribing, and thank you so much. The next video on these Crockpot guys will be where to find all these weird and funky ingredients that you guys don't know where to find them in Don't Starve, so stay tuned for that. Bye guys, have a wonderful day.